time now for a look ahead at some stories happening this week. There's just one more day for New Yorkers to connect with those across the pond using the portal in the Flatiron District. The live stream sculpture helped bridge the Big Apple to Dublin, Ireland for several months, though it came with some controversy with reports of bad behavior. And New York City Broadway Week returns this Tuesday, giving audiences a chance to grab two-for-one tickets. Stereophonic, The Lion King, and The Notebook are among the list of participating shows. That deal runs until September 15th. And New York Fashion Week is back starting September 6th. Designers from around the world will be showcasing their latest collections right here in the Big Apple. It's election season, and we're not talking about the race for the White House. Maybe thank goodness for your part. The New Yorkers are casting their votes in the honorary dog mayor race. The incumbent Sally Long Dog is not seeking re-election. For reason journalists, the contest is a March Madness style bracket with 16 contenders. Today, the K-9 dates, as they're called, were campaigning at City Hall. All of them have significant followings this time around, so it's completely up for grabs. It's an open race, and all of them are clearly very good at running. And so it's up to, it's anybody's guess who's going to win at this point. Uh, I think one of the dogs this year, uh, Willow, is, is up for adoption. The next match is Wednesday between Lucy the Mutsicle and Bertram the Pomeranian. You can make your verse your voice heard by voting on the Dog Mayor NYC Instagram page. We're going to be right back. But first, let's take a look at what we need to know about tonight's week. It's time for the Memorial Sloan Kettering Traffic Tracker. All right, Ezra Zalas with the Memorial Sloan Kettering Traffic Tracker. Mass transit will be on a weekend holiday schedule for the Labor Day holiday. Long Island Railroad Montauk branch trains will be on a Sunday schedule. Street cleaning and meters are suspended. Tune in to Good Day New York starting at 4.30 in the morning, and I'll keep you up to